Um, and joining us now to talk more about this is Dr. Corey A. Bear, a physician with the LSU School of Medicine. Uh, so, Doctor, thank you for being here. Why do you think more children are suffering from mental health crises? Do you believe the pandemic may have contributed here? I, I do. I really do. Because a lot of times, you know, kids just weren't able to uh, interact socially with their peers. So for two and a half years, that, that piece of development is lost. And I have seen that in my practice. I've seen that not just in kids like young kids, but I've seen it all the way up to the college level. I mean, the amount of anxiety, depression, um, all these types of, of, of illnesses, I mean, it has gone through the roof. And, and I've worked in the emergency room as well. And, and you do see all this. And I, I I would directly relate it to cell phone use and tablets. I, and, and I know I might catch a little flack for saying that, but the reality is that these young people are seeing way too much. They're seeing it way too early. And if you know, if you didn't know what certain things were when you were 10 and you didn't know what you didn't have. Now the world is open to them and they just see what they can't look like what they don't have, what they can't buy. And, and it's and it's just overwhelming to them and they just feel sad and depressed and overwhelmed. It's just too much too soon. Yeah, and I would imagine that social media has a big impact here as well. Um, so what resources do doctors need to help tackle this crisis? Need money. <laughs> to be honest with you, I mean, because when you uh, allocate funds, then you can allocate services. Without the right amount of, of uh, allocation of funds, then you can't uh, hire enough licensed clinical social workers. You can't hire enough physicians. You can't staff an emergency room with a 24-hour uh, psychiatrist. I mean, you just can't. And so we need that to, this to be really made into a, an emergency situation. You know, like whenever you have a hurricane, or let's just say the fires that are in Hawaii, you they, they say we have made it an emergency emergency. Once you do that, then you release a certain amount of funds and allocate a certain amount of funds for that particular emergency. And that's the way the federal government works. So we have to call it an emergency, certify it as an emergency, and then and only then will you be able to get the funding that you need to be able to address this health crisis. All right. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, thank you, doctor. We'd like to get your take on one other topic. Uh, the NFL taking more precautions in an effort to reduce head injuries. Uh, these new measures include mandating the use of padded soft shell caps. And data shows that these caps reduce concussions by 52 percent for offensive and defensive linemen, tight ends and linebackers. Players in those positions, as well as running backs, will be forced to wear the caps during preseason practices and regular season contact practices. Uh, doctor, do you think mandating the use of these soft shell caps under certain circumstances is enough? Uh, I think it's not enough. I mean, we have a horrible study that came out just the last couple of days uh, that shows an increase in Parkinson's disease uh, in, in uh, young people that played football. And the higher you went in the level of football, whether it be college or professional, the higher the risk of Parkinson's disease. Now, it does not mean that if you play football, you're going to get Parkinson's disease. But what it does mean is that we have the data to show that. So they have uh, these very specific helmets now that are are uh, um, specific for each position. That should decrease this as well because the soft padded uh, caps that they're using now for preseason, I think that's great, but we need special helmets and those are available now. But no matter what, the NFL still saw a ninth, an 18% increase in head injuries last year in last season. So we, we must do something because these young folks are out here getting CTE and then they're going to have Parkinson's disease. And that's just, that's very unfortunate to just, you know, we're, they're modern gladiators. I mean, and, and we, we look at them and, and watch them and, and, and have fun while watching, but we have to remember they're putting their lives in danger every time they suit up, whether that would be in high school, college, peewee, whatever, you know, that, that they're putting their lives uh, in danger. So we have to, uh, to try to work with them. And you know what? Both of these health topics really impact our children. And I so appreciate you wearing, weighing in. Insightful, as always, Dr. Corey Abair, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.